We have a new epidemic. One out of three teenagers, 12 to 17, has prediabetes. What can we do about this? This is not good. Check this out. Hi, Dr. Paul Hader, Master Herbalist and Health and Wellness Instructor for 34 years. Going to be 35 very shortly. Let's get the world healthy. If you like what I, I do, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Let's get everybody healthy. Well, in the United States now, one out of three teens, that's age 12 to 17, has uh, prediabetes or, you know, a uh, higher blood sugar, which is not good. And this can lead to all kinds of problems. And a lot of them are graduating and having to be on, you know, metformin or some other terrible drug. And what can we do? I want to go over a bunch of things that we can do. First of all, diet. Uh, kids eat atrociously. We're finding uh, more problems with adolescents and younger kids than we do with older people now. Uh, those are pe older people who are living longer, but younger people are living, uh, you know, shorter lives. So this is really not good. So we got to change our diets. So we got to get more fruits, vegetables, grains, beans, and greens in there. And that is super important. Lots of kids eat nothing but junk food. And junk food. <laughs> Ultra processed food, really not good. We know this is a, a direct connection to diabetes, direct co connection to cancer, direct connection to all kinds of things and obesity, what leads to heart disease and all kinds of problems. Good old fast food. Fast food is, you know, uh, a killer. There's no doubt about it. We have more than 30% of our people who eat fast food three times a day. And we need to eliminate it. If, if I saw fast food eliminated completely, I'd be a happy camper, really. Also stress. Kids are under a lot of stress these days. And they look at the news also. You know, there is no innocence now anymore. I mean, we played outside when we enjoyed life. We didn't think about what was coming or anything. And But kids now, it's not good. Really not good. And we need to... Uh, teach them ways to deal with stress, meditation, uh, also uh, all kinds of ways of living in the moment, and we can help them in a huge way. Also getting enough fiber in our diet. Fiber slows down the absorption of sugars, and if we have enough fiber, that really does help to prevent prediabetes. So eating a lot of fiber, uh, fueled f foods, which is really important. And, you know, we're starting to understand that our microbiome, it runs everything, and that's part of diabetes also. Eating a lot of fruits and veggies, you know, even fruits have a lot of fiber, slows down the absorption of, of, uh, of sugars and veggies, 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 lots of fiber, lots of antioxidants, lots of antioxidants and fruit also, really great. And we need to get kids eating more of this and uh, lots of uh, complex carbs and a way of whole carbs with lots of fiber and beans. Oh, man, that's really important. And uh, we need to get kids eating greens also. You know, most kids have hardly any good bacteria in their gut, and that really leads to a huge amount of diseases. And we really need to boost that up. Uh, not with just taking capsules, but with eating a lot of foods which are raw and which contain a lot of bacteria, which is normal. We go back 400 million years. We didn't start cooking food until less than a million years ago. So that means uh, well, most of that time we ate nothing but raw food. Also, kids are sedentary. If we don't you know, get out and use up all that blood sugar, our blood sugar goes up. There's no doubt about that. Uh, if I just sit around and lay on the couch, you know, the, my blood sugar is going to go up. So I need to get out and move. I walk 10 miles every day. Uh, I recommend for my people to walk at least five miles every day and within less than an hour. And that is possible. There's no doubt about that. Uh, I walk 10 miles. I walk up to 20 miles in a day. And... You know, people run marathons. So we can do this absolutely positively. 
and change our lifestyle to be more active. Swimming, biking, you know, all kinds of different things which gets us moving. Even weight training. Weight training, you know, muscle actually uses up a lot of glucose. And if we have strong muscles and we weight train on the machines, we can use up that glucose like it's going out of style. Also, our brain uses a lot of glucose. It uses uses half the glucose we actually take in. Sitting. Kids sit all the time. I was in uh, a coffee shop the other day. and There's mother and her little kid. This kid, very tiny. And looking at, her, at an iPhone. And I said, is she on that all the time? She said, yes. And I said, well, that's not good. Uh, and this kid was already obese. She was probably about four or five and not getting out and running around. Uh, we really need to change, you know, the fact that we have these electronic devices and when we, oh, we're stuck on them. We can't get away from them. We seem to be, you know, uh, actually connected to our brain to that device and it's really not good. We need to cut our time down on these uh, screens to an hour or less a day. Kids and obesity. You know, if you uh, have kids that are twice as heavy as they should be, or even, you know, one and a half times what they should be, they're going to have diabetes. They're going to have pre-diabetes. We really need to cut down on all the fatty foods that they're eating and get them out exercising and change our life. Get rid of these sodas with all this terrible uh, chemicals in them and Soda in general is really not good for the kidneys and packs on the pounds. Sugar, creating gut toxins and sugar, you know, just packs on the pounds. We, we create a lot of insulin resistance with lots of oils that we're taking in, a lot of animal products also. We are packed with oils. Uh, I'm not, I don't care if you're a meat eater, great. Cut it down as much as possible. Back in the 1950s, we ate uh, no more than 50 pounds of meat a year. Now we're eating 500 pounds a year. Not good. We've got to control that and bring it down. Even as a species, if we're going to survive, we really need to eat more plants. Otherwise, it's not going to be good. We have too many people and not enough su surface area to grow animals, but we can grow enough plants. Plus, Animals take a huge amount of water, and plants take very little compared to what animals do. Very important. So there you go. We really have a few things that we really need to do to get turn around our kids and our preteens from 12 to 17. And even before that, I was talking about this little girl looking at the iPhone all day. We really got to change some things and get kids moving and eating good food and out there running around. And we can change this epidemic and turn it around completely. If you have something going on, give me a call at 831-869-9119. 831-869-9119. I've had so many people with diabetes. I've turned around and they've had up to uh, a A1C of 12, and we got it down to, you know, around 5, which is normal, a little over 5, and we can get you healthy again. 831-869-9119. Also, remember God, remember I love you. And remember, just because everybody else is doing it, doesn't mean you have to. Uh, I had a lot of kids in high school that were, you know, getting into drugs and all kinds of things. And I just said, a lot of my friends, and I said, no, I'm not going there. And I just left them behind and went my own way. We have to have that inner strength and that we seek God first and know his love deep down inside of us and move forward being that strong. I love you.